Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the geography data type and also incorporate some of the charting capabilities, the field map feature, uh, or also it's known as a choropleth map. And let's see how we can do that. Now with the data type geography feature, which is available here under the data tab in the ribbon here, this is currently only available if you're an Office 365 subscriber. So you have that subscription, whether it be the O365 subscription or Office 2016 with that subscription, you have this. If you don't have that, you won't be able to get that. Maybe it'll be around in 2019. That's to be determined. But the mapping feature that I show later on, the filled map feature, that's also available on Office 365, but it will be available on Excel 2019. So if you've got the subscription, you're fine with this. If you don't, you know, for the mapping feature, you'll probably have to wait till 2019. But And with the geography feature, hopefully they'll put that in, but we will see. So let's get rolling to see how this works. I want to show it with just one state initially, and this will kind of give you an idea of using the table feature later on. So for example, let's say we have a state and we have Arizona. We want to use the geography. We go up to data, data tab in the ribbon, click geography, and it's going to go out using the, I think it's the Microsoft graph engine. It's going to go out into the internet and pull data about Arizona. And you can see here now this little map icon shows up. If I click on that, it'll show the card. And if I show the card, it'll give you the, I believe this is probably the flag. Um, and all the other kind of information it picked up via Bing. Let's say we want to show population and I can click on here to add, to extract the population of the grid. It'll show that. I can also click on the icon here to see what I can put here. Let's say, well, I don't know, let's just put largest city. All right, the largest city is Phoenix. If I wanted to add another state here, let's say California, let's move California up here. We'll just drag the mouse and put it over there. You can see that I can just drag these, take the fill handle and drag it down, it'll copy it down. And the reason why I didn't is because we didn't turn this into a geography type, right? So I've clicked on geography type. Now it has populated those fields. This is too big. Double click the column here to auto fit and you can see now it's there. And if you want to keep adding things here, you don't always want to do that. Let's bring all these other states here. The, probably the best way to do it is to turn this range of data into a table. So if I click on that and let's just take my range of data here and go to insert insert table or you can just press control T you can see that the keyboard shortcut is there I'll just press the icon here to show it my table does have headers the first row is the header field state click OK now everything's turned into a table delete these for now and you'll see that it will populate things once I introduce it so we have these first two which are data types let's do it for everything else select everything else go to data geography and it's going to turn everything into a data type. Now you see that there's cards here. If I click on each of them, they'll show you the, the card for each of the states. Now I can click on the population again. Let's go to population and extract this out. It's going to extract it out and fill out everything. So you see that's kind of nicely done, right? I can also click here and go to leaders or maybe do the largest city again and it will fill it out. So it automatically populates that and that's because of the table feature. So it's always nice to incorporate the table feature if we're going to use the geography feature here. So we don't have to double click the fill handle to do that. Now the interesting thing about having the geography type and putting the table is we're able to sort things not on things that are displayed. So you can see we have state, population, larger cities, but I can select a field here which is available Let's say we want to do the based on, I don't know, let's just say median household income. Let's sort by medium household income, largest to smallest, or smallest to largest, right? So now Kentucky comes first. And you can see like, well, how it doesn't really make sense here, but because we sorted it by the uh, household income. If I wanted to add that in there, let's add household income. You can see now that it's sorted there. Let's see where we have our median household income right here. All right, double click to auto fit that. That's the lowest. 
to the highest. So there is an interesting way that we can sort things from the display value, not necessarily what is visually there, but what's kind of behind all the information here that is provided from the geography data type. So that's kind of a neat thing that you can do with this particular sort here. So I showed that there's ways that you can add uh, the different fields here, right? So you can either click on the card and you can scroll down here from the card to, to add things with this extract pop, extract icon, right? And you can also have it in here in the table. You're, you click on each, any of these cells here. You've got it hovering over here where you can add that stuff. But in addition, let's say we wanted to add a row. Let's do population density, population density, right? Well, before we do that, let's add in the size. I'm going to delete this. Right click, delete. Let's right click, delete. And so another way to add information in there if you wanted to go do that is you can see that the formula here, it's looking at the state dot population, that, that, that parameter. You can also say equal that state. Press the, You don't even need to press the dot it already kind of gives you options to choose from. If we wanted to choose area, I just double click that, has area there, press enter. Since this is a table, it's filled it down. The downside about this is that it didn't automatically create that column for you when you had the other options available if you wanted to use the extract feature here or take it from the card there, right? Another thing that you can do, let's say we wanted to do, since these are references to that data type, uh, we can create a formula here. Let's do population density. We can say what is the population divided by the area and we've got our population density. So there's things that we can do um, that can help us create an additional type of additional information for the geography data type, right? So let's get into mapping. I'm going to go into my countries tab here and turn this into a table, control T to turn that into a table. My table does have headers. And then select my countries, A2, control shift, down arrow, go to data and geography, and it's gonna go out to the internet. And now we've got our cards here for each of the countries. Let's add some additional information. I'll go to the extract icon here. Let's do um, population again. Let's see, where can we find population, population, right there. All right, so it's going to put the population in, double click the auto fit that. You can see it's nicely put in the header field there. So I've got my population. So now I have my table and let's create a map. Go to insert, maps, and my field map and it picked it up. Make this a little bit bigger. And it has picked up the population and you can see that the darker colors here and darker and blue indicate the higher amount of course and the lower the lower lighter blues are the lower amounts so 18 from 18 million to 1.3 billion and that's probably going to be uh, china and india which are over a billion if we wanted to format this a little bit format this map to make it a little bit uh, more detailed or kind of have some things pop what we can do is go under design or format and go to format selection or just press control one since we have the map uh, highlighted or clicked. And we can go under the chart. Well, let's go under the series options. So we want to change a little bit of their series data, right? So under the series options, we've got our series options and series color. Let's go with series options first. And we have the map projection. And right now it's set to automatic. You can change this. You can have it either as a Mercator where it um, it's kind of squishes things a little bit more, or you have the Miller where it uh, makes it a little bit more um, elongated, or you have the uh, Robinson where it kind of makes it a little bit more curvy. You can, you can see that it's curved out a little bit. I think by default, it probably goes to Robinson. You also have the map area. So how would you want to see the data? The only regions that have data, so everything else like Antarctica gets white it out and you just have the countries that have data or you can just do it with the world which is probably the automatic or the default. Now the other thing is you have these labels. 
you have you want to have the country names right so best fit only you can have country names here of course it, it can't fill out everything you it's going to do its best to try to figure out uh, which one will fit the best but in this case I'm just going to say none it just makes it a little bit easier now you also have the series color the series color we have two sequential or th three sequential so in this case we'll see what a three color looks like and it will kind of make its best guess uh, on the colors or lowest value, middle value, and high value. Of course, the high value being 1.3 billion, the low value being 18, mi 18 million. And in this case, I'll just use the two colors. It'd be a little bit easier to look at. If I wanted to change these, I can actually look and see, okay, what are the, I, I don't want to have it based on the values that are given to me. I just want to choose my own values. So maybe my minimum, I have a number here and a maximum have a number here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's say the minimum number is 100 million. And then the maximum number is a billion. So we will have, press tab, so we have 100 million to a billion. And that kind of shows our flags here. If I wanted to change it, maybe maybe this doesn't really change it too much. Let's make all the countries that are over, I guess, 500 million. Oops, not that one. This is 100 mil. This is 100 million, and this one will be 500 million. Oops, too many zeros. Let's see. 100 million to 500. And this one had too many zeros. All right? 100,000. No, no. 100 million. All right. Didn't have the zeros there correctly. Let's do... Let's do... 10 million to 500. All right, that makes that probably makes it a little bit more easier to to view. Oof. So you can see you can go wild with this, right? So another thing we can do is we can change some of the color, right? We, maybe we don't want, want this blue, we want something else. Uh, maybe yellow to orange, right? And then what we can do is we can kind of make the, make this look a little more earthy and we are looking at our plot area and changing the color. Let's have the fill color be a solid fill. Make that more look like an ocean. All right, and so we have got our ocean colors here. If we wanted to do our borders, we can add solid lines for the borders for these countries. You see, like, when I have no line, there is no line. Well, we want to do the, um, we want to do it for the population, right? So if we wanted to add a solid line for the borders, we can have a border like a black color border, right? So it looks a little bit more mappy, <laughs> I guess, or mo a little bit more textbook-ish. Or we can have the whole area be blue, right? You select the whole chart area and have the solid fill, everything else be blue. So it just depends on what you want to do and how you want to color this. You can have a little fun and better not to get too overboard, but there's a lot of options you can choose to format this chart area. So there's the geography data type and also the field map feature. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.